So James has just moved out of the city for the first time in his life, way out into the boondocks, about 15 minutes west. And he started listening to Kenny Loggins, chewing tobacco, and doing tailgate barbecues out of his Miata. So it's time for a new car, like the C8 Corvette. Mid-engined, low-slung, a sports car. Except no, he can't have that. Because some of you have noted in the comments section that he has a testosterone deficiency, so clearly he needs to compensate with the 840 horsepower Dodge Demon. Except he can't have that one either. Because what he needs is something much more practical, and good on fuel, it can haul stuff, carry the family. Like the Shelby F-150 Super Snake, 770 horsepower, supercharged, it's perfect. Assuming it fits in his garage. Oi, it might fit. <laughs> Look at that! And this is the first 2020 F-150 Super Snake. This is a big mother trucker. This isn't a full throttle house review, this is just a track test of one of these because, well, you can do this on the track. Find a snake in your car and you're gonna have a bad day. But find a snake on your car and you might just be the owner of a Shelby American Super Snake. We've driven the Mustang Super Snake before, but this time it's the F-150 that gets the treatment. Because the folks at Shelby American have decided to supercharge the 5 liter V8 that dwells within, almost doubling its horsepower output to 770. So now the truck can thunder to 60 miles an hour in three and a half seconds. Shelby tuned lowered suspension and extra cooling measures in place, it's built to handle that power too. Can those numbers be reached in the aftermarket? Sure, but if you want a true F-150 Super Snake, one that features in the Shelby registry with its own CSM number, this is the only way to do it. And a huge thank you to Lance at Eastgate Ford for helping this film come together. What do you need to know? Screaming supercharger, which is blue by the way. Pretty much all the torque and horsepower you ever need in an F-150. The supercharger sound fills the cabin. But this also has a Shelby Baller exhaust. Baller, Baller. We've had experience with this before. It didn't go well. A baller. A baller. A, bo oh, a baller. Not a baller. <laughs> a baller. When you say Borla and baller, that's the same word. Baller, baller, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in the cabin, it's a supercharger experience. Beware the F-150 Super Snake at the traffic light because unless you're in something else that has the word Super Snake on it, you might just be screwed. So a normal F-150 has about 395 horsepower and this has 770. I'll let you do the math. Yes, and I'm not gonna waste your time. You all wanna know one thing. I'm gonna do this. Yes, it can. Why can I do that in an F-150? is that this looks a little bit different to a normal F-150 because it's bathed in Shelby air vents and intakes. We've got a Ram air hood. We've got Shelby bumpers. Quite possibly the meanest truck on the road. 
That is quick. I'll be honest, there are some truck motions. You know, there's some disadvantage to being this high off the ground. We've got a solid rear axle here. So when I take a shot, corner. Ah, uh, you know what? <laughs> Handled it so well. But you can feel the body doesn't quite want to flex and bend with you. It's stubborn. It's a truck and proud of it. But if you really want to get around that corner in a slightly mystical way, I was watching Thomas being an absolute maniac earlier. So I'm, I feel like he's found a creative way to corner this. Here's the most surprising thing for me though, is that I've been chucking this thing into corners in a way that you just shouldn't. You shouldn't be able to do in a pickup truck. Not one that weighs over 5,000 pounds. Even the brakes are fantastic. It's talking about stopping something that weighs more than my house. Which, by the way, is 15 minutes west of Toronto now. I don't know if I told you that. See, Shelby doesn't just tune the engine. They tune the suspension and everything else. And this one's actually been lowered even a little bit more. So for a truck, it handles well. I can't believe I said that sentence. It handles well. And if you're looking for a Dodge product instead, they don't have anything that takes on a Super Snake right now. Not an F-150. Actually, since we filmed this only days ago, Ram has announced the 2021 TRX Hellcat powered pickup truck. What a drag race that could be. Oh, 15 minutes west of Toronto, is that enough to want one of these? I want one of these. Not cheap though, 140 grand Canadian. That's up there for a truck. But the fact that it has this performance, this power, this level of occasion with a Carroll Shelby signature in the dash and knowing it's number one, which is very important in the Shelby registry. That gives it some value. And James has told you about the outside of the car, but it's the inside of the car that's cool for me. I, it's just Shelby everywhere. There's my 0001 plaque right there. And there's a massive Shelby F-150 770 horsepower badge right there on the center. It's so cool. I will say though, among all the carbon fiber and the very cool little Carroll Shelby in the gauge cluster right there, the build quality isn't really that good. That's more Ford's fault than Shelby's fault though. So, is this a video that you needed to see? No. Is this a video for a vehicle that you might buy? Probably not. But just look at this. There's only going to be 250 of these, so if you got an allocation, congratulations. This is a special truck. Next to the G63, this might be the most ridiculous thing we've driven on Throttle House. What a day! This wasn't a normal Throttle House review, but we figured it would be a fun little bonus, and we have a bunch more track stuff coming this year. Just you wait.